Hi, welcome to part three of our shoe design tutorial. It's been such an amazing time. Um, this is where we left off in part two. So in part three, we will be designing these green parts, um, the swoosh, the mod guard, which you can see on the reference image. It will be this one, this one, and that one. So let's get started. On hide the main object, hit tab to go into um, the editing mode hit three to go to the face select mode c to bring up the circle select tool and then select these faces shift and deselect that one let's turn on the screencast keys shift d that to duplicate beat and selection to separate by selection rename that to fox same or kill just for convenience now hit tap on the keyboard and select the fox in or the heel, tap back in. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Alt Z, select these vertices, S, Z, and 0 to scale that on the Z axis. G, Z to pull it down. G, X to bring this one in. And then bring down these vertices to follow the shape of the objects we're creating. Place them down here like that. Then G, X is to bring it in. Now A to select everything. G, Y to bring them out. Now I'm not going to use string wrap because with the string wrap tool uh, or modifier, we will wrap the object around um, by doing this. But the reason I don't want the string wrap tool is because um, once that's applied for some reason, it does not look nice when you select the main object. There's some weird structure going on that I do not like. So for this reason, we will not be using the string wrap modifier. So let's go back into the fox in, hit tab, select that, and just deselect the string wrap modifier. Now tap back into the edit mode, select these faces at the back, GS to pull them out, just so we see the object clearly on the surface. Now bring the sole, I believe it's important for the sole to be there so we can see uh, the structure clearly. It'd be nice to add a loop cut there, just so it's not so flat at the back. Now another thing to do is to bring this on top and then reduce the thickness some more. Pull the vertices out, follow the shape as just as we want it. So it's just to shape it around to look exactly how we want it. It's not too difficult to shape them around like that. So the only stress with this is just making sure that that follows a good shape like that. Trust me, it's not as difficult as it looks. So there we have it. So this is how you can do it. Normally this process will be a lot faster with um, a string wrap modifier, but with or without the string wrap modifier, you can create this shape and that's about it. So we have created the first part. We can save this and that's essentially the same process we will use to create the other parts of the shoe. Our next would be to select this tab. Let's select one of the faces here because it's already out. Shift D that P to separate by selection. Let's rename that to swoosh. Tab and select swoosh and tab back in. R to rotate, select this, R to rotate, S to scale it down, and then G just bring it out like so. Bring this out to the end, like that. Control R, bring several times. Now select this, go to the top. So I hope you can see this line here. Let's follow the same structure. 
e to extrude once e to extrude one more time so they meet perfectly there g this and bring it in like so i'll set to see what we have done e to extrude if this process is not the best for you, you can always use the modifier if you're not concerned about the weird shapes that happen when you try editing. GY to pull it out, I'll decide to see what's going on. Like before, this would just be a game of placing these correctly, just to mash the shape, pull that in. It's really easy, this. It's just that with the string wrap modifier, it's faster. Once you understand the game with this one, it becomes fun. Cool thing about this is this will train your eyes to the best way possible. So with this one, you have to look around anything that does not look right. You can always place it right. I personally enjoy this. So choose whichever one you want to use. If you want to add a string wrap modifier, go ahead and add a string wrap modifier. But manually doing it like this can be rewarding. So I will continue to create the other parts. And when I'm done, we should all have the same thing. I will speed up the process while I complete the rest. So go ahead and create yours. See you once I'm done. So that's the shoe. I want us to improve the edge flow with this one. So to do that, let's hit K and add a loop cut here. Then enter. And then to get rid of this triangle, what we are going to do is to hit two on the keyboard, select this edge, and then X and dissolve edge, and then hit K. Great loop cut going round. Like so, I believe that's better. Enter. Control S to save what we have created. Now, before we create the eye stays, which will be this part of the shoe, let's go and add the inner bit, which is this one. To do that, let's select the main object. On hide it, A to select everything, Shift D to duplicate that, P, and so suppression, and let's call that lining. Select the lining, tap back in, top view to see what we're doing clearly. Hit A to select everything, G, Y to pull it in, like so. S and then X to scale it in the X axis like that. This is exactly what I want us to create, this part of the shoe. Now pull this down so we can get the, the lining on there as well. Pull it up slightly. Select these vertices and pull them up. Now you can shape your lining however you want. So select the main object, bring it in a bit more like that. So that looks better. Now let's bring the other parts of the shoe together. At least we can see clearly that this is not supposed to be like that. GX, pull it out. GY rather. And the sole, just to see how everything fits together. Bring on the other part and then the swoosh. We've added the lining that we could bring it up a bit because you can barely see it from this angle. 
and I'm happy with the progress we've made. So in part four, we will create the eye stays and the eyelets and then this loop. And that should be all for the shoe design. The next part will be to add material and we're pretty much done with the shoe. So thank you for watching and see you in part four.